this with it as we start the calculator part of practice test one. All right, number eight says convert to degrees, minutes, seconds. Now, we haven't talked about this since we did it in our notes back before Christmas. So we're going to take our calculator and we're going to type in 18.775. And as soon as we get that typed in, we go into our angle menu, second apps, and we click down to DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds. Press enter a couple of times, and it says 18 degrees, 46 minutes, and 30 seconds. So one more time, it's super simple. You type in your decimal, go into second angle, click down to DMS, press enter a couple times, and it comes up with degrees, minutes, seconds. DMS. Now we're going to evaluate on our calculator, so we're going to round to the nearest 10,000. How many decimal places is that? Four. Are you going to lose points if you don't round correctly? Yes. Yes. So pay attention. Four places. I am going to go ahead and mark A and D and E and F. I'm going to go ahead and mark them. Because don't they all have degree marks in them? So I'm going to do them in degree mode. So here we go. Sine 28 degrees 14. Whoops. Minutes. For the first one, uh, what is that? A. I got 0. 0.4731. Did you? Now I'm temporarily skipping B and C, so I'm going to go to D. Ooh, how do I do a secant? One divided by cosine 19. 1.0576. You missed the next one. You need your head examined. Cosine 98, negative 0.1392. Now F, got to do 1 divided by sine, right? So 1 divided by sine, 15 degrees, 19 minutes, and 11 seconds. And remember, seconds is the tricky one. Where do we get it? Alpha plus. And you should have gotten 3.7849 for that one. You can't, we didn't have any with minutes, but you could, definitely. All right, two more. Change it to radian mode. And then type in tan 1.15. So 2.2345, oh that's cool, 2.2345, and then second cosine, that's the button that's written there, it's written right there, second cosine, 0 0.376, 1.3. 
1853. Now, then, I cannot give partial credit for these. You got to know how to type them in. You got to be familiar enough with the calculator that you have to be able to type those in. All right. Let's do a couple more and then we'll be done. Let's do number 10. Here we go. <coughs> this is not a word problem. This is just some random generic triangle. And you are finding X. But it's like a word problem in that you have to write an equation. So it's going to be sine, cosine, or tangent. Oh, no. Uh Cosine. Will it be cosine? Look, this is your angle, kids. Isn't this the adjacent side? So cosine x, remember, the angle has to be hooked to the cosine. So cosine x equals 11 over 14. Uh, in the picture, did you notice that little mark right there? What does that remind me I better do? Degrees change my calculator into degrees. I think it's in radians, so I'm going to change it back into degrees. <coughs> then I will type in second cosine 11 fourteenths. I have to use my second cosine button or second sine button or second tangent button every time I'm looking for an angle. So what did you get? Second cosine, 11 fourteenths. Did you get 38? What am I rounding to? It's still the 10,000. So 38.2132 degrees. <coughs> right, one more and then you can escape. Did you say ski? Here we go. X, 28 degrees, 13. All right, we're going to write an equation for this one. Here we go. Take a look at this, this setup here. Sine, cosine, or tangent? Tangent 28 equals 13 over X. Somebody saying multiply by x on both sides. I love it. That's exactly right. That's how we do it. And then divide by tan 28. So x will equal 13 divided by tangent 28. So we'll type that in. 13 divided by tangent 28. And I got 24.4494. Thank you. 